Forgiveness was extremely important because what you got to understand is that if you don't, if you can't forgive the person who has wronged you, who doesn't really even think about you, it's really for yourself. It's so that you can really remove yourself or cut yourself off from the pain and the burden of carrying this bag and this weight into your future. And so it's so important because if you don't do that, it destroys you. Nelson Mandela said that he had to let go of uh, he had to let go of anger and, and, and uh, bitterness because if he kept it with him, it would have killed him. You know, and, and uh, I think one of the great things too is listening to the words of Dr. Maya Angelou, where she said, if you, she said, if, if you, if you want to think about being angry and bitter, she said, you should be angry, but you must not be bitter. She said, bitterness is like a cancer. It eats upon the host. It doesn't do anything to the object of its displeasure. Then she tells us to use that anger. You dance it. You march it, you vote it, you do everything about it, you talk it, never stop talking it. And so really it's for you to be able to move forward without having to worry about the pain of what happened in the past, but never forget. You can forgive, but you should never forget. I heard a preacher once said that they prayed to God because their life was being shaken. And they looked up and realized that God was doing the shaking. Sometimes, and, you, and I only think about myself in this regard, I think about others too, but I can only use myself as an example in this regard, that imagine, if you will, being taken out of the world and placed in the belly of the beast. A womb of sort. And in that womb, just like in the womb of your mother, you have to be shaped and formed and stretched in order to be able to live in society after nine months. If you come out early, they put you in an incubator. But in this particular instance, they had to take us. God saw it that we were taken out of society and placed in the belly of the beast so that we could be shaped and formed and stretched in order to deal with life 30 years later with a brand new mindset so that we could tell people how to make moves, how to fight, how do you struggle in the face of adversity when it seems like all hope is gone. Then you look at us and you say to yourself, there is hope. I tell young people all the time that if they can imagine themselves in their own future, we have to begin to live past, present, future tense in order to really make sense of what we are to do. Young people have coined the term YOLO, you only live once. That's the most truest term in the world. However, when young people say it, wrapped in that thought is that you have to live recklessly. You have to live without caring. You have to live you know, in a way where you drink all the alcohol, you smoke all the weed, you sniff all the whatever, you sleep with all the people, you do everything but don't care about tomorrow. Rather, you should live your life like a Nipsey Hustle. You should plant seeds in the future so that even if you don't sit under the shade of those trees, your family will. The communities that you place those seeds in will. And I think that that's the most important thing. That dash that's in between our birth and our death, it makes the most and means the most in our lives that we have to leave something behind, a legacy of sort that says that we were here. Thank you so much for watching I Never Knew TV. Please subscribe, comment, like, share.